Japanese rescue crews have recovered a body and a number of cattle floating at sea as they try to find the livestock ship believed to have sunk south of Japan. The ship disappeared in the East China Sea when it got caught up in a typhoon while sailing from Napier to China. There were 43 crew, including two New Zealanders, and almost 6,000 cows on board. Any further rescue or recovery effort is now set to be hampered by the arrival of a second typhoon. Andrew McRae reports. Escaping death, the survivor 45-year-old Sareno Evarodo, who spent 12 hours in the water, asks his rescuers if they found his crew. Did you get some crew there also in the Gulf? Or no? Oh. I'm only one. Only one. I'm so lucky, he tells them, wiping his face with his hands. Edvarodo told rescuers the ship capsized after engine failure and was then hit by a massive wave. He was picked up yesterday, thought to be the sole survivor. A second person was pulled unconscious from the water today and has been confirmed dead. However, the Coast Guard says it will stop its search on Sunday because there's another typhoon on the way. Typhoon Haitian is due to hit the same area where the ship went down. It will decide whether to resume searching once the typhoon's passed. Foreign Affairs Minister Winston Peters isn't releasing any information on the two New Zealanders on board the ship. I can't say much about them because of their family circumstances here. Uh, I wish I could, but I can't. Maritime New Zealand says it found no issues with the ship before it left Napier last month. A spokesperson says... Gulf Life Stop 1 was checked on arrival at and prior to departure from Napier. Maritime Rule 24C has requirements for carriage on specific cargoes, including livestock. Livestock carriers are checked for stability and the condition of livestock pens. No irregularities were found. The Australian Maritime Safety Authority carried out a port state control inspection on Gulf Livestock 1 in June this year that found no mechanical issues. A second cattle ship, the Yangtze Harmony, is also steaming to China and is in the general area of the East China Sea. It left New Plymouth on August the 19th and is about the same size as the Gulf Livestock 1 and likely to be carrying about the same number of cattle. Wayne Langford is Federated Farmers' animal welfare spokesperson. He's supporting a temporary ban on live animal exports or the outcome of a report into the trades released. Obviously, uh, I think it's a great idea, but, you know, whenever ma- any major event like this happens, you know, it's um, good to work out why and, and try to avoid something like this happening in the future. And Federated Farmers President Andrew Hoggard says the trade in livestock isn't what it used to be. Back in the 80s, um, when there was a lot of sheep going to Saudi Arabia, for example, nowadays mainly it's breeding stock that... Um, we're sending to other countries that they can build up their sort of dairy herds and or their breeding stock. Animal rights groups, while expressing their concern for the loss of life in the sinking, have seized on the disaster to push again for an outright ban on any more exports of livestock. Safe Campaigns Manager Mary Ann MacDonald says Agriculture Minister Damien O'Connor must take responsibility. I mean, this is suffering that he has allowed to happen. And what we want is for him to urgently publish the report from his review into live export. Peter, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, says whether it's for slaughter or breeding, the live exports of animals is just too great a risk. Spokesperson Emily Rice questions the treatment of the stock while on board and at the final destination. Cramped pens aboard, aboard ships where you know the potential for them to be lost at sea is there. But even, you know, a good outcome, if, if the animals all survive the journey and the ship does, would be the animals arriving at factory farms. And there they're going to endure really brief lives as breeding machines and then they're going to be sent to slaughter anyhow. MPI says it's received two requests for licences to transport cattle overseas by ship later this month. They're now on hold due to the temporary ban on any livestock exports. For Checkpoint, core Andrew McRae, 10A.